police received a call from the fire service at around 12.35 a.m. in the early hours of this morning following a report of a fire at a house on Wood Hill in Leicester. On attendance, it was reported that occupants were still inside the property and unfortunately four people uh, were found to have died uh, inside the house. Dr Tofik, thank you for talking to Pakara News. It's been 12 months since you lost your family. Just describe what the last year has been like for you. Difficult time. But Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given good strength that I did survive and continue both jobs in the hospital as well as in the community center. The work which my beloved family and my beautiful children have left for me to continue and carry on. And this legacy has kept me surviving and kept me functioning. Are there times when you get incredibly low? I do cry as well, yeah, time to time as well. Sometimes I'm driving as well and I start crying. But this is quite a natural thing. But most of the time I'm living inside the mosque. And this is giving me the strength 24-7. What are your thoughts about the people who killed your family now? I wish they did, they could realize as well what they did. I mean, no single person admits they did the crime here. Yeah. And they knew their intention was to kill somebody. Their intention was to kill some other family as well, yeah? They came to our house as a wrong. But their intention was to burn the house and whoever was inside to be killed as well, yeah? I wish they still could realize what crime they have made. If they have, if they have said that, yes, they made the crime and they did it by mistake, but this is the one they did it. So at least their conscience was not guilty anymore as well, yeah. But now they will have rest of the life, will have that thing hurting in their heart as well, yeah. That what they have done it, yeah, to the innocent people. How did you manage to carry out complex brain surgery after going through everything that you did? My family is with me all the time as well, yeah? As the God is with me all the time. And they are giving me push. And they are giving me the strength. And they are encouraging me to keep doing my duties and do not leave any work behind as well. And this is very important that I should continue functioning both in my own profession and on this land as well. Last year, the centre behind you was in the process of being set up. It's now up and running. Tell me about it. My family should be very happy to see that the centre is occupied now as well here seven days a week. And the idea and the vision behind all this thing of my family was to bring the community together the Muslim and the Irish community, so that the people become part of the community and society. And everybody help each other, everybody respect each other. And they feel that they are in their own home and they feel happy as well. And they feel like they are part of a big, broad community as well. Can you explain the idea behind the school? My daughter was supposed to start the school this year and my wife was going to help as well with other teachers as well, yeah. And the idea of this primary school that we start from the very junior level from the children and to, and to teach them both the uh, normal Irish curriculum and the religious curriculum as well. This is just a blessing of God to us, like, you know, I must say thanks to Dr. Saab for, for uh, building up such a fantastic facility and we are thankful 
to all the community and Dr. Tofik Sab, uh, who has uh, kind of taken the initiative for the welfare of the, all the Muslim community in Ireland. It's been a great blessing here uh, because uh, there is not much facilities uh, in Dublin and uh, the way the Dr. Tofik is uh, handling the kids, not only the religious education, he has uh, blended with the extracurricular activities. How unique is the school? This is the first uh, ever school in uh, the history of Ireland uh, for the Muslim private uh, Islamic school. And in fact, I can say that the, the quality, inshallah, is going to be more high as well here because we have only 15 children. Why did you name the school after your daughter Zainab? And, uh, while my daughter was uh, going to uh, be helpful and start the school uh, in September of this year, uh, it came in my mind uh, that uh, the name uh, should be on my daughter's name, yeah. If she was around, she should be very happy as well to see as well, yeah. I, I know the Muslim community more. We come together every weekend and like we just have fun and we learn lots. It's really good because they let, they let you learn a lot and they have a good learning system and after we learn we go outside to play soccer a lot. If I wasn't at the centre learning then I'd be really bored at home just sitting down on the sofa. Before the school, my son, when you give him a cap, a hat to wear, he throw it away. But now, the hat is part of his uh, dressing. What's next for the center? We are going to do more uh, construction here. We are going to build a new mosque. We are going to build the new building for the school as well. There's a lot of work in the next few years needs to be done. But there are good people as well who are behind. Like we have a people from Leicester who are helping as well. Do you still have any strong links with the Leicester? I still have a very, very strong link with the Leicester. I do visit regularly. Uh, there are people in UK who are helping and giving the good strength, moral strength as well, and support as well. Yeah. Do you ever go back to the house? No, I don't. It's, it's difficult as well, still as well, yeah, to go and see the house. I don't go on that street as well, yeah. No, it is painful as well, yeah. Dr. Tofik, thank you for talking to Pakar News.